Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be having a look at this new to the UK Shark Hydrovac cordless 3-in-1 hard floor cleaning system. This Vax mops and self cleans, powerful suction plus hydro mopping at the same time. Full disclosure, I paid for this cleaner myself, I didn't get a freebie from Shark. I have had free products from Shark in the past so I could demonstrate them for you on my channel, but I no longer receive anything from Shark. I have to pay for all these machines myself. On the rare occasions where I do get a sample machine to test, you will see product promotion on the video, and I will tell you within the first minute of the video that I was given it for free. But this, no, my hard-earned money paid for this. So we'll see what it's about, see what it's like. It's very similar to many of the other hard floor machines I've seen on the market. Is it going to be any better? Well, after this video, hopefully we'll know because I'm going to get it out of the box, charge it up and do a demonstration. Here's everything out of the box. We get the cleaner itself, a small bottle of Shark Hydrovac multi-surface cleaner, the handle, instruction book and the storage and charging dock. The first thing we need to do before using the Shark Hydrovac is to attach the handle. First of all we just need to remove this protective film and with the Shark logo facing front insert the handle into the cleaner just push it down it should click when it's fully positioned there was a very slight click and now the machine is almost ready to use after the initial charging. Before first use, you need to charge your Shark Hydrovac for four hours on the supplied charging dock. This cable is approximately one and a half meters long, so you've got a fair distance between the dock and a socket outlet, but it's best if you can place it as near to the socket outlet as you can. If you've got this next to the outlet, you can get rid of all this excess cord because Shark have provided this little cord hook here. So you can wrap around any excess cord and then place the charging dock on a suitable flat surface ready to charge the machine. When the Hydrovac is fully charged, all three lights will illuminate. Before I use the Shark Hydrovac for the first time, I'm going to take a tour of the machine to point out its various features and functions. So the first thing we need to do after charging the machine is to fill the solution tank with warm water and Shark Solution. To remove the solution tank from the cleaner, press the silver button here and pull the tank out. To fill it, you need to remove this black stopper, unscrew that, and fill with warm water up to this line and the shark solution up to this line. When it's full, simply replace the cap, give it a bit of a swirl around to make sure that the water is thoroughly mixed with detergent, and then just pop it back into the machine like this. It should click into position, and then we're almost ready to use the machine. This is the solution you get supplied with the Shark Hydrovac. It's a fairly small bottle containing 355 milliliters. Shark say only use their solution in this machine. At the time of filming this video, I wasn't able to buy additional solution direct from Shark UK or QVC where I bought the machine from. I think it's a bit of a shame that you can't buy additional solution on launch. So. You only have a small amount, hopefully it will last you a few uses and then by the time you see this, Shark may have got stocks of solution on their website. Hopefully they will have. It's waterfall fresh, not sure what it's going to smell like but I'll comment on the smell when I'm actually cleaning the floor. Like similar hard floor washers, the Shark Hydrovac separates the dirty and clean water, so it's only distributing clean water and solution onto the floor, sucking up the dirty water and collecting it in the dirty water tank here. To remove it for emptying, there's a button on the top, just press that and the tank comes away. The liquid can be removed by just tipping through this spout, preferably down an outside drain or in your loo. And then the solid debris is collected in a separate section. You need to pull this off 
it will be stiff when it's new and hopefully it will have caught the solid particles here so tap that over a bin and you can rinse the whole thing out and also rinse out the collection tank there's a filter here in the top shark recommend cleaning that once a month and replacing it every six months that just pulls out and that can be cleaned under running water shake it and make sure it's dry before putting it back in the machine everything can be rinsed and dried before putting it back after each use especially if you've cleaned up some nasty spillage make sure the filter is always in place and then back goes the separator into the top of the tank it only goes in one way there is a guide on the back as well if you get stuck if you've lost your instructions and then when it's clean dry and empty you can place it back in the machine this is the business end of the shark hydrovac incorporating the rotating roller that agitates the cleaning solution onto your floor before sucking the dirty solution back into the recovery tank i will show you the self-clean feature in action later in the video and i would recommend you do that after each use especially if you've been using the hydrovac to clean up something rather unpleasant such as a dog accident but from time to time it is advisable to give the machine a more thorough manual clean and to do that there's a little gold button here press that the front comes off you can give that a rinse underwater and then dry it off here is the soft roller that lifts out easily you've got a hole here just put your finger in it and lift out the roller you can wash that under running water in your sink if it's very dirty shark don't recommend this but you could use some mild detergent and just rub it in rinse it thoroughly and then squeeze as much of the water out as you can by doing this and then put the roller somewhere to air dry you can actually store the roller on the charging dock to dry it so that's a handy feature shark recommend you replace this every six months especially if it becomes very heavily soiled but if you only use your machine lightly or if you're just a single person household or just a couple with no children or pets you might get away with replacing the roller once a year so once the roller's out you've got access further to the machine here so you can give this a clean as well from time to time it's always advisable and then the roller goes back you place it at this end first and then just push it into place like so pretty easy and then locate the front panel there are some hooks on the bottom just hook them into the holes pivot the head forward the clear visor and then press down to lock it into position so that should be really all the maintenance you need to do with the shark hydrovac i'm in the kitchen now ready to test out the shark hydrovac for the first time so i've filled the solution container with warm water and a measured amount of shark solution pop it back in the machine and we're ready to go i'm going to clean about a third of this quite large kitchen and i'm not going to put any dirt down for this first part of the video i want to see how the shark hydrovac copes on a floor that looks relatively clean there's dogs walking about there's been a bit of mess brought in there's a few bits and bobs on the floor nothing major it's just normal dirt that I expect to find in this kitchen. So it'll be interesting to see how dirty the water is on a floor that looks pretty clean. To start using the Shark Hydrovac, put your foot on the base and recline the handle. To use the machine in hard floor mode, simply press this button to turn the cleaner on. To freshen up thin area rugs and doormats, press this button. To help clean very dirty floors, you can use the freshen mode and the shark will distribute more cleaning solution onto the floor.
The Shark Hydrovac automatically switches off when the clean water container is empty and you'll see a blue symbol flashing on the display panel. During this video I have used up all the solution but I have cleaned more of the kitchen than I was intending to, probably more than three quarters of it rather than just a third because as I was cleaning I thought well I might as well go and do that bit and oh that bit and it got quite addictive. There's still a little bit more of the kitchen to clean. I really should pick up the chairs and clean properly under the table. And there's a few other areas I didn't get to. But all in all, yeah, fairly impressed so far. I've not even looked at the dirty water. So I'll pop the clean water tank back in and we'll have a look at the dirty tank. Now bear in mind, I've not put any dirt down. I am kneeling on the floor that I've only recently washed. So it doesn't put a lot of detergent down and it seems to dry it pretty quickly. So, on a wow. <laughs> I might be keeping this. I was intending on sending it back to QVC after my 60 day trial or before, but so far, blimey. <laughs> this floor does get cleaned with a spray mop and it, we also have in this house a Vax Glide cordless hard floor washer that gets used possibly once a week. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's have a look at the dirty water. Now, it has managed to separate, I don't know where it's found all the dog hair, but it has managed to separate some of the dog hair. There wasn't really any larger particles to pick up. I am going to do a bit of a, a stress test demo on this shark in a minute. I'm gonna throw some dirt down just for a bit of fun. But the demonstration I've just done is more of a real life demonstration. Most people aren't throwing muck all over their floors just to see how well their cleaner picks it up. That's for infomercials and home shopping channels. But yeah, so it's got some dog hair in there. That just needs rinsing out. The filter, let me just take it out. There's a bit of muck on the filter. It's not too bad. Wow. That is, <laughs> it's not my house folks. I don't, I don't have such a filthy floor <laughs> because I always use some sort of electric or cordless floor washer. I don't own a mop and bucket and haven't for many years. But this house has dogs in it. They're always trailing in and out, bringing muck in when they've been for a walk, having slight accidents on the floor during the night. Things get mopped up as they happen. But look at that. That is, I didn't want to really like this, you know, but pretty impressed. For the final part of the video, I'm going to give the Shark Hydrovac a bit of an extreme test. So I'm going to pour most of this dirty water back on the floor in front of me and let it dry. I'm also going to squirt various foodstuffs on the floor as well and also let that dry in. And we'll come back to them a little bit later and see how well the Shark can cope with an extreme mess. Oh dear, I think this is a bit extreme, even for me. I've had to discard the socks and put on the Crocs because I'm not walking near this with just socks on. Um, right, well, I emptied out all the dirty water that the shark picked up. And then onto that dirty water, I've put some rolled oats, some lentils, some black sand. There's some tomato puree, some salad cream, some milk and an egg. Oh dearie me. <sighs> right, okay, I've got to clean it up by hook or by crook and hopefully the Shark Hydrovac will clean everything up but I don't expect it's going to be easy.
will spank my bottom and call me Susan. That is impressive. It still needs another few goes over, but two passes, and that's the majority of that mess picked up. As I said, there's some black sand still left. It's gonna need a bit more going over, but I'm very surprised that it picked up so much in just two passes. Right, well, I'm quite relieved to be honest. So uh, we might as well clean up the rest of this mess. The Shark Hydrovac has turned itself off, indicating a full container. Oh, it looks quite nice actually. Like a milky hot chocolate drink. Ah, oh dear. So there we go, no surprise, is it? And this is going to need a bit of a clean out. If it's going to let me go, well, there's still a bit of solids left in the bottom. Oh dear. <laughs> but you can see that the separator is quite effective at separating the solids from the liquids. Ooh. Oh, dearie me. Okay, well, this is all going to have to be cleaned out. I'm going to empty this. I don't know where I'm going to empty this, but I'll have to empty it somewhere. I'll give this all a bit of a rinse and then finish the job and get this floor looking clean again. I'm now kneeling on the floor that not so long ago was absolutely covered in mess. Everything that's been picked up off this floor has been done with the Hydrovac. I've not cheated. I've no reason to. I don't get anything. If you buy this, I don't get any commission. I don't get anything from Shark. I've paid for it myself. I've made a video for you to watch. All I get is revenue from YouTube, from the advertising. I don't get anything directly. So it makes no odds to me whether you buy this or any floor washer or whether you don't buy anything I show you on my channel. It's up to you. It's your money after all. But not many things impress me, to be honest. I've been putting dirt down on carpets and floors for many years. And yeah, <laughs> this has impressed me, to be honest. 
I've just flushed the last lot of mess down the lavatory and that's where this is going. All that brown liquid and when I release this there's not so much but there's quite a lot of the black sand it's it's collected as well as the lentils there's some rolled oats as well. Ugh. Again, I'm going to rinse all this out. And finally, to end the video, I'm going to perform the self-clean feature. Before you start the self-clean feature, you must ensure that the dirty water tank is empty and the clean water tank needs to be at least half full. So I've topped this one back up with just water. It doesn't say that you need to put solution in it. It just says, make sure it's half full. So I haven't put solution in. So what the clean system is going to do is just clean everything out internally, the roller and the internal pipes. And I think warm water should be sufficient to do that job. So with the water in the solution tank, I'm going to pop it back onto the machine and take it over to the clean and charge dock. When you place the Hydrovac back on the dock, this light will illuminate to remind you to complete the self-cleaning mode. So all I have to do now is turn the machine on using the power button and leave it for around two minutes to let it complete the self-cleaning cycle. That's the self-cleaning mode completed. Full disclosure, I did run it twice because I think the machine needed a really good clean out after all that mess I gave it to pick up. So when you run it, you only need to do it once and you'll have to empty the dirty water. There will be less water in yours if you just run it once. If you want to run it twice, that's up to you. Just press the on off button again. So I'm going to empty this out. I'm still going to rinse it all out, clean the filter, and leave it to dry but let's have a look at the roller there's some pet hairs I think still left on this you can see here that I just need to give this a wipe with a dry cloth just to remove that bit of pet hair that's been left on there uh, the roller though looks pretty clean again there's some stray bits of pet hair so I need to remove the roller but all in all considering the amount of mess I've picked up that's not too bad at all. But before using this machine normally, I'm just going to give this another thorough clean just so I know it's spotless, ready for next use. And I'm also going to give this a bit of a wipe over as well and make sure it's spick and span, ready for the time I use it again, which will be in my own home and I'm going to use it normally. I'm not going to put all the dirt down that I showed you in this video. I'm just going to use this machine on a day-to-day -day basis to clean my kitchen, bathroom, and ensuite floors. So that's about the end of my video on the Shark Hydrovac cordless three-in-one cleaner. If you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe, please consider doing so because I review a lot of floor care products on my channel, not just floor washers. I do carpet washers, vacuum cleaners, the odd washing machine, and some other small appliances. So until the next time, if you have any comments or questions about the Shark Hydrovac, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.